Hello Ghosts, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT4 for reading PDF files. ChatGPT4 does not work with PDF files by default, so we're going to have to install some plugins. But first, let's go ahead and find a PDF file we're going to be working with. Now I'm going to go to Google and type Alice in Wonderland PDF. This could be any PDF as long as it's available in your browser at a specific URL like this. Now, guys, this will only work with ChatGPT4 Plus account. So that means it's not free. Here I opened my OpenAI ChatGPT Plus account. First, I'm going to use a GPT-3 model just to see what happens. I'm going to ask GPT-3 what is this PDF about and paste the link to the PDF file. Now, because this is ChatGPT-3, it cannot access or read online files. So it's going to say, I can't open or analyze the content of the PDF file you provided. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to GPT-4 model and I'm going to ask it to write a summary and paste my PDF URL. Now, this time GPT-4 is going to provide something that looks closer to PDF summary. And it seems like it's reading content directly from PDF, but it's actually not what's happening. Here, I'm gonna ask ChatGPT-4, did it actually extract this information from the actual PDF file? And again, it's going to say that as an AI model, I don't have the ability to open or view external links, PDFs, or any other type of documents. Therefore, I can't directly analyze the content of the PDF file from the PDF link. Now, I'm going to show you something that's going to fix that. In the lower left corner here, if you click on these three dots, you'll see an option there called settings. Just go ahead and click on settings. Here, go to beta features and enable the option that says browse with Bing. Now, we're going to close this and go to under GPT-4. You'll see this new feature browse with Bing beta. Just make sure that it has a checkbox next to it. So now in the text prompt, I'm going to type, can you extract text from this PDF and paste the PDF link into the now you'll see this new button for Bing plugin saying that it's browsing the web. Now it's going to say finished browsing and going to type the response. Here again, it's going to say, it appears that I'm unable to extract text directly from the PDF and you can paste specific sections of the PDF into this chat, which is not something we want to do. Now we're going to enable plugins. So go back to settings and go to beta features and turn on plugins. Now let's go ahead and close this. And now under GPT-4, we have plugins. So go ahead and click on that. Under no plugins enabled, click on that and go to plugin store. I tell you plugins are powered by third party applications that are not controlled by OpenAI. Be sure to trust a plugin before installation. Plugins connect ChatGPT to external apps. ChatGPT automatically chooses when to use a plugin during a conversation. Depends on what plugins you install in the store. So let's go ahead and type PDF into this search box. And here we have PDF export, AI PDF, mixer box chat PDF. Box chat PDF can summarize and analyze PDF files for you. Also, we have Ask Your PDF will allow you to extract information from a PDF file and another plugin called Chat with PDF. Everything from entire PDF books to Google Drive documents just by providing a link. Good. So I'm going to install Chat with PDF. Then I'm also going to install Ask Your PDF. Then I'm going to install Mixer Box Chat PDF and AI PDF, which is super fast interactive chats with PDFs of any size, complete with page references for fact checking. Now let's close the GPT-4 store. 
And with our PDF plugins installed, you can go here under this drop down. And the first one we're going to try is chat with PDF. So I'm going to uncheck all the other boxes. Now I'm going to go back to the tab where I have my PDF. I'm going to select right click and copy it. So now let's go to the prompt and type analyze this PDF and give me a brief summary of the story. Paste your PDF URL, submit message, and let's see what ChatGPT4 with chat with PDF plugin is going to say. Now here we have an error and this could happen for many reasons, network issues or the plugin server is actually not available right now, but it might actually work for you on your computer right now. Just that this error told me that the file might be too large. Found another PDF file it was only 10 pages long and on the plugins here, I selected ask your PDF plugin. Now with ask your PDF plugin, I ran the same prompt when I asked to summarize this PDF based on its content. And finally, ask your PDF plugin has actually provided me with an answer where it actually scraped the content of PDF using the plugins API. And this was the chat GPT 4s reply. Here it was able to accurately summarize the PDF document, which it's saying it's a guide on how to compile a text file to a PDF file using PDF Latex and other tools. This PDF provides instructions on how to write a document and use spell checking. Now, if everything fails, there's another great chat PDF tool you can use to read the content of your PDF. And this is the chatpdf.com website. Here, all you have to do is drop your PDF file into this box and you can chat about the subjects found in this PDF directly on the site for free. So here I'm going to save my sample PDF file, go back to chatpdf.com. Here I can drag and drop this PDF. I just downloaded directly into this box. This chat PDF website is going to start summarizing this PDF file. Now, based on the content of this PDF file, it's going to give you three different questions. You can click on each of the questions on the list here and GPT-4 API will answer those automatic questions for you. Now here, I'm going to click on the second question and get another answer based on the contents of this PDF or you can chat with this PDF file yourself. So here I'm gonna type, what is the key point of this PDF? Write short summary by analyzing PDF file content. Here's the answer. And another thing I tried is to ask to list chapters of this PDF. And this PDF file did not have any chapters, but ChatGPT still created their own. 